What's up YouTube? Today's video is going to be all about meal prepping. So I am doing this video kind of quasi during quarantine. It is January 2021 um, and there's some places that are still in quarantine and some places that aren't. So I live in Texas. We're not quarantined um, so I could still go to the grocery store but I wanted to show you guys truly how I meal prep because I feel like actually going to the grocery store wastes so much time, especially if you're somebody who wants to get into meal prepping, trying to make it as simple as possible with as few steps as possible is the best way to kind of set yourself up for success and get started. So I started using Instacart like way before COVID even happened and it completely changed the game for me when it came to meal prepping and grocery shopping. It just made, it just is such a time saver. You don't have to spend time going to the grocery store, shopping around. All you have to do is, you know, order it online. And then while the shopper is shopping, you get things done on a Sunday, like laundry and things. So it just saves so much time. So I'm going to show you a few things um, and a few tips as I go through my meal prep. Um, the first things first is I just got done eating lunch, breaking my fast, and so I really like to make sure that I have a clean kitchen before I get going. So I'm gonna clean the kitchen, and then I also like to look through all of my groceries and kind of glance through and kind of see what I already have. So take inventory of what you already have. That's one of my other tips so that you're not overbuying and you're not gonna waste a lot of food. So you'll kind of see me do that. I am planning from the Fit to Cut meal plan. It's a six week meal plan. When you enroll in the Fit Cycle, just the regular app plan, you get a four week meal plan as well, so for free. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of how I use that. Um, this is the exact same way I would use the four week meal plan. Um, it's just specialized with recipes from the Fit to Cut. So I'll show you guys that um, and take you through me ordering, meal prepping, and all the things. Okay, so the next thing that I am going to do is I am going to write down all of the groceries that I need and then I'm going to go and take some inventory, throw out some things that maybe are going bad. I just cleaned the fridge and the pantry last week. so. It is my goal this year to try and keep that as organized as possible. So what I've got here is I've got the Fit to Cut workbook. It's normally like a really pretty color, but I wanted to save ink on my printer. So didn't, um, I just printed it out in gray. So um, this is what it looks like. So we're doing week one. And so I've got the meal plan and then I've got a grocery list here. Everything that's on the meal plan is in my Fit Cycle app under the featured section. So I'm just gonna go through on here and see which ingredients I need. All right, so the first one, um, butternut squash chicken chili soup. That is going to be right here in the app. It's so good. Um, and so I'm just gonna go through, look at this and see what ingredients I need. So celery, some of this stuff I know I already have. Um, let's see, we need chicken breast times two. Okay, so we've got the list of everything that I need. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my refrigerator, my freezer, and my pantry, and I'm gonna mark off the things that I already have, which I kind of made inventory, mental inventory, when I was going through the list of like, okay, I already have that. We just went grocery shopping not too long ago. So, um, so this will be super simple. All right, so we've got just a little bit of egg white, so I need that. We've got turkey sausage, filet mignon. Actually, so we've got green grapes. tomatoes, cucumbers, ribeye, mushrooms. Got some mushrooms in there. Okay. Looks like we have a lot of groceries to get. Okay. 
Okay, so for next week, I actually added some things. I love the Alani New um, energy drinks, and so I added some of those, and then sparkling waters, and some things that Jordan likes. Um, so all in all, it's gonna be about $160 to feed us for seven straight days. So not too bad. Um, what I'm gonna be meal prepping is actually some chicken that I'll be able to use in my salads throughout the week. So I like to have protein um, and then also some eggs and some sausage sandwiches. So I'll show you guys that too. Okay, today we're doing all of our meal prep and I am not your average meal prepper in the sense of this isn't gonna be one of those meal prep videos where you see me line up seven glass containers and I put chicken, broccoli, and rice in there. That's not how I live my life, that's not how I eat. <laughs> um, and that's one of the great things about macro counting and carb cycling is that you can make foods that you love fit into your macros. Um, so I'm gonna kinda show you some of the things that I do. A few tips that I have, which I feel like these are sometimes self-explanatory, but I already talked to you about the instant cart delivery. That saves you so much time on the weekends. Like you can even place your order on Friday and have it delivered on Sunday or whatever day you plan to do a little bit of meal prepping. That way, it's just already done for you. So. I love that, and then I also love buying things already chopped. Anything that you can buy already chopped to um, make you, the time in the kitchen less, especially at night whenever you're cooking your dinners fresh, that's gonna make it a lot easier. So a lot of times you can get your onions, your cilantro, your bell peppers, your mushrooms, um, your butternut squash, regular squash, zoodles, all of that stuff. You can usually get that already packaged how you're gonna be eating it, so that just makes time for the actual day that you're eating that meal, it just decreases your time in the kitchen. Um, a couple other things that I recommend is, so specifically with carb cycling, but also if you're just doing regular macro counting where you have a higher carb count throughout the day, I love prepping carbs and proteins. You don't really have to prep fats because that's gonna be, those um, fats are gonna be coming from your lean meats or just all of your food sources already or any oils that you're cooking with. So you really don't have to prep fats. Um, so today what I'm gonna be prepping is chicken or salsa chicken. So I could put that on any salads. I could make tacos if I get lazy one night and don't wanna make dinner. So if I get lazy one night and I just don't feel like making dinner, and usually that's gonna be on Wednesdays if I'm being honest, it's the middle of the week, it's the first low carb day for the fit cycle of the week, so I get a little bit tired. Um, so I can just pull out the chicken that I prep and make us some tacos. So that's what you're gonna see me making today. And then I also like to prep um, sausage biscuits or like meals that you can quickly grab and go if you're on your way out. Um, so you're gonna see me prep some eggs. I'm gonna bake some eggs. This is what I'm gonna be baking the eggs in. It makes it super easy. The eggs are just gonna pop right out of here and then I'm gonna put them on English muffins. So that will be really, really nice. Um, and then I also like to prep my carbohydrates. And usually that'll be like jasmine rice, brown rice, quinoa, or um, I'm absolutely loving this bonza rice. It's got 29 carbs, 11 grams of protein, and five grams of dietary fiber. So this is a better option, in my opinion, than jasmine rice, because jasmine rice doesn't really provide you much nutritional value. But I will say one tip with the bonza rice um, is it is made from chickpeas. So when you go to make it and you're draining it after you boil the water, just rinse it off and it will get all that extra starchiness off and it will make it taste a lot better. But this is garlic and olive oil flavored. Um, you can also get these packets of rice, 90 seconds in the microwave. They have jasmine rice, brown rice, basmati rice, long grain rice, and so that's what these are as well. You're also gonna see me bake some bacon in the oven. Um, so that will be for the English muffins as well. As far as kitchen tools, my absolute favorite kitchen tools is that silicon um, little egg thing, insert or whatever, but also the air fryer and the Instant Pot. These are so amazing. I'm not gonna use the Instant Pot today because I don't need to prep that much protein, but if you were like wanting to prep chicken and then like a soup, then you could do them at the same time and it cuts down your meal prep to like an hour or less. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> And 
I'm so excited. I got another double egg. This batch of eggs has had three double eggs in it. I think that's a good sign. And another quick tip, be sure to put the silicone on the pan before you put the eggs in it. It'll make it a lot easier. Salsa chicken's in there, salsa and chicken, I guess I should say. I'm actually gonna pour a little bit of broth around it so that it doesn't burn. Okay, so you always wanna make sure that the vent is all the way back and I am going to do pressure cook right here. And I'll probably do 45 minutes. Really doesn't need that long, but I'll just do 45 minutes. Okay, so we've already done two things. We've got the eggs and we've got the chicken in here. Some other things that you could do to make meal prep a lot easier is buying some frozen rice. So I do like to get frozen brown rice or frozen jasmine rice for when I'm in a pinch. You throw it in the microwave, three minutes, you've got some carbs. So you can add those to your salads, your meals. If you've got chicken and veggies that you're having for meals, you can just add rice to it. And that's the other thing that's really great about carb cycling is that's a way not to kind of overcomplicate it because you can have the same meals for low carb day as you do high carb day, just take out the carb sources. So to keep it simple, if you were having chicken, rice, and asparagus or a salad for high carb day for a dinner, you could have the exact same thing the next day, just take out the rice or take out the carb source. So um, I don't want to uh, make it sound like carb cycling is like overcomplicated because it's actually very, very simple. Okay, so that's pretty much my meal prep. I've got my lunch protein, that's gonna be the salsa chicken. So I'm gonna be able to put that on salads and make it really, really simple. And then I've also got my um, sausage biscuits that you're gonna see me kind of put together at the end. So super, super simple. Don't get overwhelmed by meal prep. <music> Okay, so bacon is done and the eggs are done. I'm gonna let them cool off, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two English muffins and then I'm gonna have the rest of the eggs are gonna be saved for low carb day snacks. So that's another way that you can prep for high carb and low carb at the same time. So I will put two pieces of bacon on my English muffins. Okay, so everything is done baking. Now I'm just gonna assemble the little sandwiches and then put the chicken in a glass container and put them in the fridge and then that's my meal prep for the week. Um, I typically would put the sausage biscuits in foil but I'm out so I'm just gonna put them in some plastic baggies so I'll show you guys how I assemble everything. <music> Now I've got four eggs left, two um, bacon, so I'm gonna put everything in one baggie together and those will be some snacks for low carb days. So one thing about carb cycling, like I mentioned, is that you can have the same meals each day, just take out the carb source. So the carb source for the sandwich is the English muffin. So for low carb day, I'm gonna have the same bulk and the same protein. I'm just not gonna have the English muffin. Okay, next we've got the salsa chicken. So I am going to release the pressure on the air or on the Instant Pot. It has been sitting here for 12 minutes after it was done, so it already self-released. So had I come over here right after the timer went off and I pressed this little valve, 
a bunch of steam would have come out, which is totally normal. You have to let the steam out before you're able to open the lid, obviously. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so there is the chicken and now I am gonna show you the easiest way to shred chicken. I'm so excited. <laughs> perfectly shredded salsa chicken for salads or tacos or anything really throughout the week. I can have it low carb day, high carb day. So I shredded it in the bowl that I'm gonna put in the refrigerator. And so that is all of my meal prep. So thanks so much for joining me. I do have a meal prep that I did a little bit ago. So if you want to see another meal prep video and some different options, then head over there and watch that YouTube. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.